but you know disregard the other mess i've now got my whole system set up tested it it works fine let me just go through the uh scenario here we're going to start with the power make pretend this is your power panel from your house in this case it's just a black and decker battery where i have a black and white wire connected for power that power comes in and into the bottom of the box of the relay switch now for the relay since this is power coming in i have my black coming in to the l1 end and i have my white which is in there coming to the l2 end now once that comes in i now have to have it come out so coming out here's my other wire this is ultimately going to lead to the pump which in this case is nothing more than connecting to this low voltage light bulb that I stole from my son's train set just to show that power would kick on. And just like the black wire is under the one in, my out, where is it? Oh, the, the L2 out, which is under here, is connected to the same black wire is connect so the L2 out is connected to the same black wire that's going out here and therefore the um, the other one you know so the whites are connected to the ones and twos respectively comes over there now I have my rainbird sensor all set up and as I originally discussed I have my low voltage connected in I have my white, but I also have a brown, and I'll explain that in a minute. I have my white and black, which are connected and feed through to here's the white and black, which connect to the one and two blue leads. Doesn't matter which one because it's low voltage and it's just opening. So when the timer's ready to go off, which I have it set for 8.50, a couple minutes, um, what's going to happen is the power is going to go over to here, turn this on maybe about a second or two before it actually opens the pump. Then I have my eight zones, you know, as I said, rainbow, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet, and the brown. I stole the brown for a secondary reason. Because I have my power over here and my valve over there, I didn't want to piggyback from my white wire here all the way over, which you could theoretically do. I just wanted to show it as differential, you know, assuming these are 10, 15 feet or 20 feet apart or whatever it's gonna be. So what I did was instead was I used the brown wire and put that in at the same time on the common. And that's commonly done in electronics uh, where you're using the same same breaker and you're hooking up two wires to it and feeding it out or, or from an electrical outlet you're daisy chaining and going to multiple electrical outlets but anyhow the brown wire which is representative of the white that's going to the solenoid comes up and i have the brown wire connected to one and my red which is zone one connected to the other wire coming over to the solenoid. So now at 8.50, this is gonna trigger off. The light's gonna come on, then you're gonna hear the solenoid going. So it should be any minute. So now you can see that the pump is triggered on, re representative of that light, and you can hear the solenoid going. So this would basically mean that this valve is lifted up, letting the water come down here into the channel and out the zone and watering your line. So in this scenario, I only have the uh, timer set up for a one minute watering cycle, just for proof of concept that all the electronics from getting power to the switch, switch to the pump, and then from the controller, to the pump and also to your solenoid. Now, when the system is done, it's gonna shut off in reverse. The solenoid is gonna shut off, then the pump is gonna shut off. 
So we'll let this cycle finish. And now your watering cycle is all set.